Hello viewers and welcome back to American City History. We have moved on to the next state, which is Connecticut. The two cities that we will be doing in Connecticut are Bridgeport and Hartford. In this episode, we will be talking about Bridgeport. Bridgeport is located in southeastern Connecticut, next to the Long Island Sound. It has a temperate climate with hot summers and cold winters, often with snow. The area had been inhabited by the Pequannock Native Americans for centuries. The area was first claimed as part of the nearby township of Stratford. The first settlement in Bridgeport itself would come in 1665. A small settlement was established along the Pequannock River, and it was called Pequannock. The settlement was small and in 1701 was renamed Stratfield because it was in between the nearby towns of Stratford and Fairfield. The area was a center for privateering during the Revolutionary War, and Black Rock Harbor, the part of the city on Long Island Sound, was a major staging point for privateer David Howley. In 1800, the name of the area was changed to Bridgeport. Bridgeport being incorporated in 1836. The city's main industries were farming and fishing, but the deep harbor nearby meant that shipboating would soon move in. Railroads arrived in the 1840s, connecting Bridgeport to nearby cities like New Haven and New York. Free African Americans in the state mainly came to Bridgeport in the New Liberia neighborhood. The city grew throughout the 1800s. P.T. Barnum, founder of the Modern Circus, was a Bridgeport resident, and Bolton lived in his Wal Waldemere and Iranistan mansions. Bridgeport became a manufacturing hub in the late 1800s. Things like sewing machines and ammunition were made in the city. Bridgeport had a large population of industrial workers who, in the early 20th century, began to demand more rights for laborers. In 1915, workers in the city went on strike to demand an eight-hour workday. These strikes were successful and spread throughout the northeast of the country. Immigrants came to the city in search of work, and in 1930, the overall immigrant population was over 30%. The city had over 500 factories in 1930, and that number grew during the Second World War. After the war, however, the industrial progress peaked and went on a downward spiral. Industry left in the 1960s, Bridgeport became the most dangerous city in Connecticut. Most companies laid off their workers, and the city had major population declines. Poorly designed public housing complexes were built in Bridgeport that became famous nationwide for their high crime rates. Things continued to get worse, and in 1991, the city filed for bankruptcy protection. Bridgeport would develop much of the downtown and crime rates fell. Still, there is much to be done and many improvements to be made. Today, Bridgeport is the largest city in Connecticut and is an important city. I hope you enjoyed this video.